Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. Thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I have relocated to Michigan over the last three or four days. It's kind of hard to tell if it's been two, three, four days or two weeks because it's definitely felt like two weeks. But I've finally gotten settled enough and things are in place that we can get back into Azeroth, which is great for me. And I hope it's good for you guys too. I hope everyone's been well. We are a little ways north of Menethil Harbor. We're searching the river inlet for Gobbler, as well as some Bluegill Murlocs. If my audio or anything sounds a little different, it's definitely because I am in a new space. And I'm hoping that uh, it works out well for us. Someone has been annihilating these bluegill murlocs. Not too many people here, but a few. And we're looking for Gobbler. And he's not up right now. Well, it, would, it might help if I spelled his name correctly. Let's just... No, nothing. So he's probably just not spawned right now, otherwise I think he'd be right around in this area. Let's just start on some Bluegill Murlocs. Get back into the swing of our Warlock magic here. Now I'm remembering that we really need to visit the Demon Pet Trainer to see if our Voidwalker can get another level of his Torment ability, which is his taunt. That's what causes the enemies to attack him instead of coming and attacking us. So we'll definitely have to check that out pretty soon. We have what looks like a Night Elf Hunter, yes. He's the one working his way through these murloc camps. And he's also grabbing that solid chest. Exciting Shadowlands news that came out on the 8th. Um, beta. Beta is coming next week. And I'm pretty hopeful to get an invite to beta. I don't know obviously for sure if it's going to happen or not, but I'm opted into beta. I have an authenticator on my account. So I've I feel like I have a decent chance of getting it at some point. And you should bet that as soon as I can get in, I will be looking at making some Shadowlands content. Which I'm incredibly excited about actually. I know that either way, even without beta, I know that November, which is pegged for the release date, I know November will come before we know it. Really looking forward to that time. Some of these guys are a little bit higher level than us. I'd like to stick to the ones a little bit to the south. Once they start to respawn, that would be great for us for a change. get two of them. Let's still recharge. I think he just resisted our drain life. And when they resist drain life, the channel does not even start. Very interesting and unfortunate. I hope that one doesn't pull any friends, uh, because he doesn't have any dots up on him. Uh, we can fix that. Okay, we are 
We are pulling some friends, apparently. We are out of mana. We can do a little bit about that. out for us. Leather boots with stamina. Our Voidwalker is getting a little low on health. So maybe it's okay if we tank this last little bit here. Also, well... We also need to probably get some soul stones. Soul shard, my apologies. Which we have one, that's not bad. I need more mana. Let's let's go ahead and drink. And then we'll soul stone ourselves. I think Gobbler is a different color than the rest of the murlocs, so if we do see him, it should be pretty obvious to spot him, even from a distance. Oh, uh, these clams are going to fill our inventory if we're not uh, careful, if we're not opening them consistently. Make sure not to pull this guy who's looking awfully close. Hmm. If we let our Voidwalker go in first and get a hit or two, it seems to work out better for us as far as pulling aggro off of him immediately. The difference in range on Drain Life from all the other abilities always throws me off. Aha. I see him. Alright, Voidwalker, go, go, go. Make sure that Hunter's not around. Let's let him burn for a minute. And we'll hit him with a Shadow Bolt. his head. Alright, now we just need five more murlocs. That was an immediate resist. Good for him.
human paladin over here. Uh, I think we're going to need to head all the way down to near Dun El Ghaz for the Tramping Paws quest for the Moss Hide Knolls. It's going to be a long run, so I actually don't mind if we work our way a little bit this way. I wonder how much aggro life tap generates compared to an attack spell. Probably not as much, but it, it probably still generates threat, I would think. Ooh, a big healing potion. We need to grab another soul shard so we can have a health stone at all times. That would be a, a smart idea. Uh, it's higher level. I'd rather avoid the higher level guys if we can. Especially since our Voidwalker might be missing some key skills from the Demon Trainer. That's like a 5 level difference between some of these Bluegill Murlocs. Some are level 20, others are level 25. And we're in between, so... By like one foot you were, yes. Those crates look suspiciously like something that we might collect for another quest. I hope not, but that is what they look like. Let's pull this guy back a little bit before we send our Voidwalker in. There we go. That is done. Now we are going to take a long journey here, and I don't think we have really much else we can do along the way. That's our breadcrumb to Theramore, um, excavation team. Not sure where that's at. I thought we also had a quest to go back to Loch Modan, to the engineer on the bridge, who'd given us a quest to go up to Dunmodir. Dunmodir. But now I'm not really seeing that in the log. Oh, hi. Somebody else, I was going to say Thunderclap, who are we not seeing? Oh, we didn't see the Dwarf Warrior who was also fighting it. Wonderful. Uh, we have a Warlock quest, Devour Souls. This is the quest for um, the Succubus. And it takes us to the Barrens. I don't have any flight points in the Barrens right now. And we haven't been to the Barrens on this character. So that's something we'll have to do a little bit in the future. I'm not really hard pressed to do it right now because I don't think the Voidwalker, or sorry, the Succubus is something that we're going to use while we're questing necessarily. I, I think we would still stick with the Voidwalker Good day to you. for the most part. And if I'm wrong about that, let me know. I don't know much about the different pets and their, and their uses in classic or in retail. I just know that the Voidwalker is usually your best bet for questing and keeping yourself alive. This is going to be a little bit of a run. 
We'll check out this area here and see if we can uncover what's there. I think there were higher level orcs or maybe gnolls. Something of a higher level was lurking back in some of these nooks and crannies by the mountains. But I would like to have the map reveal if that's possible. Well, guard, so this is the excavation site. The excavation site. Yeah, the Wellmar Excavation Team. It's an orange quest. And the reason being is because apparently there are level 26 raptors in, in the way. We are going to come back to this. There's the way up. I think we probably need at least one more level before we attempt that. But now we know where it is. Can we get out this way? Maybe. Let's find out. There is a chance. No, I guess not. It's always interesting to me which cliff sides you can scale and which you can't. Sometimes a mountain looks perfectly passable and you can't go up. Other times you're convinced that there's no way you could and then your character will walk right up it. Quite a gloomy day here in the wetlands. It actually looks like this outside my windows as well here in Michigan. Rainy, cloudy today. Perfect day to be adventuring in Azeroth actually. What's going on over here? Looks like some AoE mage kiting is happening over at this moss height camp. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was a flight point somewhere over here? <laughs> uh, that's something that we would probably have in retail that we just don't get in classic. There's a graveyard though. It's actually a nice place for a graveyard considering it, the zone is huge but it's in the middle of the zone. I'm interested in what this area is here. wonder if we can get a map ping. Probably not. That is unfortunate. I don't know if these little red things are buildings. Uh, but there is something up here. Level 25 skeletons, Dragon Maul minion. Okay, so there's Dragon Maul orcs up here. Level 25 or so, we could probably avoid them for now. But we'll try to remember if we need more Dragon Maul to fight, they're gonna be in this unrevealed section of the map. Yep, 26. Level 26, so... Too strong for us to take on right now. We'll just stay safely down here on the road.
All right, so they're supposed to be in the area here around Donel Gaz. Here we go. You look likely. Mosshide Knoll. Yeah, we need gnolls and mongrels. And then we will cross back into Loch Modan to the bridge and turn in the complete quest to the engineer there who had sent us up to Dunmodir. Let him know we checked that out. And see what happens from there. With all these kill quests, we are probably going to level from completing this one. We need 10 and 15, so... Look at that. That is quite a camp, actually. A little bit intimidating. Um, this guy could run right for that. And we wouldn't be in very good shape if he decided to do that. At least we pulled aggro, that got him to come at us first. Perfect. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful now as we pull these guys. Let's pull them back. Oh, he resisted. Well, good for him. Good for him. We definitely just pulled by casting two life taps, so there must be some kind of considerable threat generation. Especially when we're close like that. We'll try to grab this one here, and then we'll grab the one back here. I need to get closer. These guys, we're just, we're pulling aggro really quick. The murlocs, we weren't really having the same problem, so that's interesting. We pulled this guy. Okay, we need, we need our void walker to step in here. Uh, like, pretty badly. And we need him to stay in. was a resist of the life drain again. Unfortunately, we didn't pack any food with us, I don't believe. Well, we have some fish. Well, we actually do have quite a bit of fish. That will help. I think we could pull this mongrel out without pulling anybody else if we get him, like, right in this position right now. Yeah, he, these guys just hate us. I don't like how far they can run while feared, actually. We got lucky with that. Probably not the smartest thing I've done, but... Really didn't want to take the damage. We're gonna have to look for more camps of these guys further out. That was better. Mm. 
now, are we gonna get this guy by himself? Something tells me probably not. Oh, we did. Happy days. This is where it gets unlikely for solo pulling. If we pull this guy and he pulls this guy, I mean, it seems like all of these guys would come at us, right? Well. finish one of these guys off pretty fast if we can ever get this cast off. There we go. Maybe do some life drain here. Get our dots back up. Not the prettiest pull, but we got it done. And then the last two... Oh, we can get this guy. He must be a respawn. I, I didn't see him a second ago. Maybe he was there and I'm just not paying attention. Surprised we were able to take on that entire camp. That was pretty decent. I'm out of range. Voidwalker is kind of slow, and that's what's causing us problems when we don't send him in first, is he's just not getting any aggro, which is really annoying, actually. Ooh, what's that? Agility and intellect. This is held in offhand. Okay, I thought it was a wand because it, it kind of looked like a wand, but it's, it's an offhand item. And right now we're using a staff. I don't think we have a one-handed item, but let's keep this in case we find a dagger or something with intellect on it. Standard Claymore. Now we can go ahead and send him in. All on his own first. And then start casting. I need to get closer. So close. You need to get so very close to get life drain going. I wonder if there is any talents that could extend the range of that. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Range of our affliction spells. Does that does that count drain life? Oh, we're getting respawns now. Here we go. Time to pull back a bit and be more careful. And maybe actually pay attention to what's going on around us. We 
really need to find um, a camp of mongrels. Like an entire camp of mongrels. Because we're going to have all the gnolls slain. And we've just made zero progress on mongrels. They, they don't really seem to be around in this area. I'm wondering if we want to head out to these little tents over here and see what's going on over here. Might be a good idea at this point. Here we go. Somebody mentioned, and I agree, that maybe we should lead with Immolate, since it has a cast time. There was a reason why I wasn't doing that, and I don't remember what it was. I thought maybe it was the length of the spells, how long they stayed up, what is what determined the order I was casting them in, but it's probably just a good idea to let our Voidwalker go and get a few hits while we actually hard cast Immolate. I know that kind of gets us on his aggro chain, but I want this guy. He's a Bongrel and we need him. He dropped all these guys. Oh, gosh. Damn it. Did he get killed or did he just drop them on us? Either way. What a dick. We didn't cast, um... We didn't cast, um, Soulstone, is what I'm trying to say, as I'm just, like, running for our lives here. We didn't Soulstone ourselves. Very dumb. Can we get this guy? Can we keep him at least? Like, salvage this somehow? I really want you to taunt this off me, but it's fine. Just keep letting him hit us. Oh god, this is bad. Very, very, very bad. Wow, we just didn't catch any breaks there at all. We uh, completely and utterly screwed up. Completely and utterly effed up. Yeah, we're not going to live through this for a couple of reasons. That guy is the main one. We're dead! <laughs> we were so close to living. It's just a damn shame we weren't quite close enough. 